friends, to a new episode of Lineage 2. And we are on Interlude. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yujin, I'm working with him, and uh, this is his other character, and he's helping me out. And as you notice, I'm in like a dungeon. That's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you what I'm at. And I am in the Necropolis of Sacrifice. Um, I'm near the Lizard Dwellings. It's outside of Gluten. So for those of you that knows what's going on, thanks. Um, he's just watching my other episode. I appreciate it. Awesome. So what I've been doing... Oh. Whoops. So what I've been doing, um, I've been hanging out here. And he's been buffing me. And what I've been doing is I come in here... And I come rolling in this region, and then I come kill all this stuff in here, and it's really, really awesome. So it's it's pretty good. And what's going on is we have all these awesome enchantments, and all of these dudes are uh, level four, two times four. Each point increases. This means I get a plus four times four XP increase. So as you can see, I'm level twenty-seven. Last time I left you was probably I don't even remember. It was pretty deep, like maybe level 20. Um, I've been in here. I'm um, kind of off. You know, off camera. Um, you know, just looking around and learning and trying to remember what the whole uh, interlude was all about. Uh, thanks, guys. Um. And so what I've been doing is I've, I've been hitting these guys up, I've been spoiling them, and trying to get as much as I can. And what I'm finding now that I'm getting upper, you know, I'm kind of growing in levels, is I, the spoil's working maybe about 25% of the time. It's not working all the time, see that time it doesn't work, and, you know, it's not too bad. Now, what we've been doing in here, um, to supplement that, since I'm really not getting anything, is some people gave me some haste potions for moving around, so I move a little bit faster. So I had one on three, but, um, so, and then I've just been coming in here. Now, what I'm gathering is I joined a quest, and the quest is let's see if I can bring it on the screen here. Um, quests in search of fragments. I've got all of these fragments, dimensional fragments. And I get this from the guy that's in the beginning of this. I'll show this at the end of the video. Um, so what I've been doing is I've just been kind of going from here. Um, and I've been going into the next room. Going back through here. And just leveling. And I started, I got to, th I've been leveling in Dion, level 24. Uh, so I went from 20 to 24 in Dion. And then I realized, eh, you know what, I want, I want a little bit more. Um, action. So I came in here and um, now I'm at seven figure four. So hopefully I can get to that I think. And sometimes the spoil works, sometimes it doesn't. But as you can see, I've been getting so shot through, and broken, gems, and things like that. I've also been getting stuff from the event, the heart pieces, which is super cool. Uh, really good. And it's really working out. So leveling, I only spend a lot of time in here. Now, the items that I'm getting from are the red and blue seal stones. Pretty cool. So what we're going to be able to do at the end of this is actually turn those in for Ancient Adena. And you can use Ancient Adena to buy other things. Um, so that's the place we came from. And I usually go into this room too and get these. So I've been going from this room and this room and then that other room. So I've been hanging out in these three rooms, kind of just leveling, doing my thing. And as you can see, we're going to go from 62, probably 66, I think we get about 4% per kill. Close, close to it. So really not too bad. Um, and it's the drops in here are really nice. It's it's a lot, lot better, a lot better. And I'm really enjoying it. It's it's, it's working out a lot. So um, I will show you guys how to get here. Pretty easy. If you're in Gloom, um, you can teleport to the land. 
blank uh, lizard dwelling, and outside of that is a big tower. And in the tower, you can fly down. Oh, darn it, I missed the spoil on that guy. Um, it's on the bat by accident. Um, but you can fly down, and uh, there's like a, uh, what do you call it, a, like a pool that you have to, you have to go through to, uh, to get down here, and it's really, really cool. So, for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, and I think we're gonna do a little bit more leveling, show you guys what we're doing, and then I want to turn in some of this um, ancient Adina. So what we have joined is the Seven Signs um, quest, and there is a form you get. Where is it here? Here it is. You get this record of the Seven Signs, which means that you're uh, doing the seven signs quest, which is pretty cool, which gives you the ability to, to gain all these uh, uh, seals. And, you know, the. Uh, it's not too bad, you know, my health doesn't go down too bad. It's only just popping in the And I think it's really about 7.5. Even if I have the whole room. They're all blue, and I could get some more um, HP and XP and stuff if I went further than that. I can kill you really quickly, so I'm actually gaining XP pretty fast. I can see more XP or something. And the reason I wanted to kind of show you this process is because it's pretty easy to do, especially if you have a clan um, that can help you with you know, the buffs and stuff like that. It's, it makes it pretty easy. Level, uh, which is really nice. Um, so we're at 88. I want to get, I want to actually get up to level 28. And then we're gonna go back and go learn some skills. I think. So I don't know what I have open to me, but I think at level 28 I get the third. I'm pretty sure I get the third uh, crafting ability, so I can make more uh, soul shots. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of soul shot. I've actually been saving them up. I've got a whole bunch of soul shots. I've probably got like another 80,000 ish, maybe 60,000 ish in my uh, inventory in my client warehouse, or in my warehouse, my private warehouse, that I'm going to sell. Because what I've been doing is I've been going um, in Dion. I buy them all up if they're under my price, which is I've been selling them for 35. I buy them all up. So I've been buying and selling and trying to make a little bit more money. So right now I'm at like 164000 I don't have that much money. But that's because I spent a whole bunch and tried to buy them for the best. But it seems as though people have got to tune to what I'm doing because um, there's a whole bunch of people now selling them all under 30. Some people are selling for 24 and 25 and they're like hundreds of thousands of uh, little shots that I can't buy them all. I just don't have the money to do it. To buy them all. So I might have to even think about what I want to sell some other things. Or, or what? I'm not sure. Because uh, I'm not going to be able to sell and die and nobody's going to buy for me if there's people there that have less. And this guy should give us a uh, 99.60. Really? Alright. Let's go back to the other room and see where we're at. I got one more and you guys can see me level. And then we'll head back to town. And then when I'm done getting all my skills, we will come back. I will show you what it's like to come back here and uh, how to get here. It'll be pretty cool. So, yeah, the, uh, the way to get the quest is done. Done. Leveled up. Sweet. All right, and he's going to attack me because he's a girl. He's going to go over there. Just want to let him know I'm heading back to town, so that way he's not uh, sitting here waiting. I'm gonna we'll do a scroll of escape, and I will catch you guys when we're back at town. All right, guys, we are back, and I've made it back to Gluden. Pretty easy stuff. I'm gonna go head to the blacksmith now, and let's go see what we got going on. Um, we should be able to get a lot of our stuff here. Let's talk to uh, Cluto. And um, let's learn some skills. So the first 
uh, list. First thing I want to do is get my other create. Awesome. So what does that give us? That gives us level three. Can I learn any more of these spells? I don't think I can. I'm too low. Requires level four, level seven, level four, and level four, unfortunately. So I can't learn any more of those, but wait. Learn. You earned create item. Wait, did that give me level four? Dwarven craft. Actually, no, it doesn't upgrade my Dwarven Craft. It, okay, that was just regular. Okay. Um, summon Golem Mechanic. That was pretty cool. We've got 100,000 SP. Let's learn all of these. Um, stun Attack. Actually, that's something that we should probably be using. Let's upgrade that all the way. Learn, learn. trying to get all of them there's a bunch of stuff I haven't obviously updated since um, since level 20 so I'm quite a bit behind as you can tell uh, weight limit definitely we need that um, big time blunt mastery um, we'll do all the blunt mastery because that's needed definitely fast HP recovery that's super important uh, boost HP, yep, super important. Uh, blunt Mastery, let's get all of those. Heavy Armor Mastery, because uh, that's what we're wearing. I think I'm going to stay away from doing any of the pole arm stuff, because I'm running out of SP. Wow, I'm really far behind, as you can tell. I'm not going to do the Light Armor Mastery, because I'm not using it. Uh, we will use Crystallize, because I do that. Um, vital Force. Allows quick recovery while sitting. Yep, we want that. And we'll continue to do Stun Attack. And I don't have any more. I'm not going to do these other ones, because they're not needed for me right now. So, we're up to date with our skills, at least as far as that's concerned. Let's see here. Craft Item says level one what does this do hmm general recipe book what is the difference between the common craft and the regular craft I'm not quite sure create item level three common create level three so I need to get to level 32 I believe to get um, to get my fourth dwarven craft so I can start making some of these other things so looks like my weight has gone way down which is really good um, that's super good because I've needed that for holding more shots let's go take a gander at what before we go over to the necropolis I want to show you guys kind of what people have been doing um, and undercutting me and die on so let's get over there and see what happens So I might have to figure out another place to sell um, because people, I can't buy them all up, you know? It's just not working for me. Uh, Gluteo, yep. And then from Gluteo, we will go to, so I might sell here in Gluteo because this guy's selling for like, there's a guy here that's like selling for 40 and I can sell for like 37, which would be pretty good. Um, Let's go ahead to Dion. Uh, Town of Dion. I thought I clicked Ulrin, and I didn't want to spend 34000 for no reason. That would have been bad. So let's see what people are selling for here. Um, 150 He's really high, actually. I sell them for less than that. Uh, BSSD, 135 uh, What are you selling for? 118 Not bad. That's a good one. These two guys, these are the two people that are selling for cheap. And I just don't have the money to buy them up. Uh, if I did, I would. Um, but I don't. So I can't really sell here when these two people are selling. Mushy and he can. I don't know if they watch my videos or not. But they might have taken that and glommed on to what I'm doing. So 
they probably started taking away from what I'm doing, which is fine. I mean, it's no big deal. People, that's what people are doing. So that's part of the game, right? So we will figure out where to sell or I will see if I can sell somewhere else and make some money and then buy all those up. We'll see. Um, Priest of Dawn. So if you want to start the Seven Signs deal, you want to talk to this guy. Go to the Seven Signs, read all of this stuff. I want to participate in the Seven Signs. I want to participate. He's going to say blah, 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 because I already did that. And then you get to choose uh, collection. I want to contribute my seal stones. Contribute blue seal stones. Contribute. Um, I don't know how many I have, but contribute all my seal stones. Look at that. So your contribution score increased by 83,901. Cool. So what did I get? Um, I thought you got, I thought when you turned them in, you got Ancient Adena, but I think you get that based on, if we are victorious, you could receive a bonus in Ancient Adena proportionate to the number that you contributed. There it is. So I have to wait until next Monday, um, until this is finished. So, so I'm going to just keep banging away at the, um, Necropolis and the Catacombs and doing what I've been doing, which is really cool. So. Oh, here's another person that's got some SSDs. 49, dang. That's kind of high. That's super high, actually. Um, teleport. And let's go back to Gluteo. And I'm going to run you into the uh, Necropolis, and I'll show you how to get there. So let's talk to you, and we'll teleport. Get rid of that guy. Teleport to Gluten. And also, um, I did get the recipe. I'll show you. I got the one of the people got the recipe for blessed spirit shots for me, so I can make those too. However, they're not as profitable as the soul shots. Um, you don't make as much money on them. You can. I mean, I guess you can. But um, all right. So from Gluden, you are going to come to the Lank Lizard Man Dwellings and hit that up right here. And once you're there, you're going to take a little look around. You're going to see this big pillar structure and then head over to that. This is the entrance to the catacombs. And we are heading to the sacrifice, the necropolis of sacrifice. So there are different ones out there. So if you take a look at the map, there are ones by Dion, the catacomb of the heretic. These are like level 30 and above. So... It's going to be a while until we're in there. I try. Actually, I probably could go in there now because I did gain a couple levels since I was in there last, but I tried going in there when I was level 24 and it just didn't work. So, going to the water. I dropped all the way to the bottom. Interesting. I've never done that before. So, usually you have to swim all the way down from the top, um, which is really interesting that this works. So, you come through here and you come out and you have this little water gauge. If that goes there, you will start losing health. And yes, oh, there we go. It looks like I fell. Cool. Really interesting. <laughs> Not good. So, and then you get to the gatekeeper here, Zagurut. And in here, you can just talk to him. And you can teleport inside the necropolis. And there we go. That's how you do it. And then there's, this is like a big labyrinth. Oh, if you need to get the dimensional fragments uh, deal, talk to this guy. He's the dimensional gatekeeper. Um, I've joined the fight. I have done this. Uh, progress in this quest is only possible when your inventory weight is less than 80% capacity. So that's... What? It is less than 80% capacity, bro. Bro? It's less. That doesn't make sense. Drop this. Now will you work? Ah! It still thinks I have 80% capacity, so something's not right with that. But this is where I would turn in these dimensional fragments um, to this guy if I had less than 80. But I do have less than 80, so that's super weird. Um, not sure why, but we'll have to figure that out. But anyways, yeah, this is what you do. So, And then you can just come through here. It's like a maze. So it's um, very similar to like a dungeon type of thing. So, And then I was kind of deep in there. As you can see, these are level 21s and 20s and stuff like that. I was like near 25s and 6s. Um, deeper in but it's pretty good that's what I've been doing so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please stop the like button if you're new to the uh, the channel please subscribe uh, you'll get awesome awesome 
notifications on when I post my videos, which are pretty much daily. And as always, don't forget to like and share on your favorite social media, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.